Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome to Near Death. Alright, so this is a game where we're basically uh, playing cra yet another plane crash victim. And this time it's in Antarctica, and we basically try to uh, survive at like an abandoned uh, survey complex. So, let's see how this goes. Blacktown, this is Deep Freeze 2. Supply drop was a success. Fuel is 15,000 pounds, 225 miles outside Blacktown. Level at 15,000, we are inbound with an ETA of 2 hours and 8 minutes. Blacktown, Deep Freeze 2 declaring an emergency. My number 2 is on fire and I'm shutting it down. Hydraulics 1 and 2 reading min pressure. Fuel now reading 10,000 and falling fast. I need vectors for a diversion to nearest. Max on off, over. Are you there? Okay, think, think, think. What's close? Hey, Sutro. Okay, heading 215. Sutro Ops, I'm on approach for an emergency landing. Sutro, over. Is anyone there? All right, guys. So here we go. Let's get started here. We survived our plane crash, and uh, we can we have an extraordinary jumping ability, as you can tell. I can just jump right on top of planes. I can tightrope like a beast. And uh, just so you all know, there are no jump scares or anything like that, as far as like monsters or anything like this. Um, this is all about you versus Mother Nature at her worst in Antarctica. <laughs> Basically, an entire continent with just you on board. So let's head over here. I'm gonna put this flashlight away because batteries do run down in this game. And uh, we're gonna get in here, grab a couple items here. I have played a little bit of this and uh, equip your portable heater, place it on the ground to stay warm. So occasionally, we're gonna need to find a sealed up room in order to warm up. If their room has any type of uh, exposure to the outside, we're not gonna be able to use that room to warm up using our space heater. So something to keep in mind. And uh, we do have the ability to patch up windows if they are accessible. So, their outdoor temperature, ooh, negative 20 degrees, not looking too good. Alright, so let's get on out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave that door open. We're going to go, hey, can I open it? It kind of looks like it should be able to open it. I just noticed for the first time that they had a lock on it, but let's get going here. We're going to try to go up. At least we're seeing some power here. Try to just going to it at any time by pressing the help key, or doing the help key, which we will end up doing quite a bit. Um, so, we get to learn about jumping, which we already know how to do, and portable heater and body temperature. So, there we go. There we go. Welcome to Sutro Station, National Antarctic Survey, established 1954. Alright, so, it's got some history. Here's our comms room. I'm going to shoot in there real quick here. As you can see, this this room uh, it does look like it. Oh, well, it doesn't look like it's holding... Doesn't look like it's doing too well as far as the uh, as far as the electrical grids going on here. Um, looking for anything that I can pick up real quick. One key thing that I would recommend in this game, if you guys do end up picking it up and playing it, is and by the way you can get it for Steam on Steam for like thirty. I got it for like thirteen dollars or something like that. So, uh, oh, someone's ringing me on the telly. Let's check our uh, check our goals here. Make contact with McCur McMurdo. So let's do that. And uh, but one thing I would recommend is do the do the um, those missions in order as they come in. You'll sometimes get a couple options. Don't skip around. Try to go from top to bottom because if not, then you will definitely no toilet water in this one, guys. Sorry. If not, you will definitely. Um, oh, before we let we go outside, let's let's uh, throw the uh, lantern down here and the, the space heater down here. Warm ourselves up here real quick. Do those do those missions in orders because if you don't you're gonna get screwed where basically you're not you don't have an item you need to complete the next one of the quests you're trying to work on and it'll drive you freaking batty trust me so all right so we will pick up our kerosene heater and it automatically shuts itself off so as not to uh, waste too much fuel it doesn't take too long to warm yourselves up let's get going here let's get inside here see who's trying to buzz us here don't have a way to seal room, you won't be able to warm up in it uh, with a heater, which I kind of already explained. As you can see, you can repair the window. We do have a crafting uh, 
some crafting options also. Alright, so, oh, there's a battery. Let's grab that real quick. Let's check around here. Let's use the teletype. Let's get rid of our flashlight for now. Murdo, pilot flight 173. This is MacTown. You there? Lost communication for plane. Rerouted comms to Sur uh, Sutro. Hoping you made it there, did you? Oops, hit the wrong key there. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you there. Sutro, I'm alive. Emergency landing successful. Not injured. Plane grounded. Inoperable at Sutro Station. Place in dis uh, disrepair. Copy. McMurdo, message received, glad you're alright. Hey, am I? See, I don't like that, where they act like you have a dialogue tree, but actually you just they just hand you a dialogue branch. It's like, come on, man. Just do the dialogue if you're going to do that. And say, like, space bar to continue or something. Alright, message received, glad you're alright. Alright, an optimistic assessment. Is that you, Jack? <clears throat> McMurdo. Yeah, hi. Situation is um difficult, but you're gonna get through this. What circumstances that what circumstances at Sutro? No personnel here could be better or exit. See, we actually get an option here. I'm gonna do no personnel here. Place is deserted, gonna need search and rescue extraction like now. Where is everyone? Like when do you ever need search and rescue extraction like you know, four weeks from now? It's always now. Murdo, bad news. Sutro decommissioned. Goodish news. Only phase one complete. Sub supplies, etc. still on site. We're investigating search and rescue options. Decom team has left a generator running at min capacity, so systems shouldn't be locked up. Advise locating power building generators and restoring major uh, restoring main power. Where? Although the station, where are the generators? Unsure, sorry, still digging up Sutro documentation. You could look for a station map. Oh. Or possible diesel stacks on the roof. And remember, you need me, I'm here. Okay. Head for power generators. Okay, I'll find them. Keep me advised. On search and rescue, we'll report back. Stand by. Alrighty, there we go. So let's uh, do some more searching here real quick. Stand here on the radio, see if I can use it. No luck. See a map of the base. <clears throat> Pardon me. The compass to the left is always pointing direct. So this is, we're heading uh, south-southeast right now. That's where we're pointing. or facing. And uh, we're here in the power... Wait. No, we're in a comp station. We're going to go to the power station next. So... And let's see here, we've got inventory, we've got two batteries, we've got a flashlight, we've got some kerosene, and a portable heater. So we do have a refill for our uh, portable heater, at least find the generators, that's what we're going to do, do first. You need to stay warm long enough to search the re rescue team will arrive, that means restoring power to critical buildings. Search for the power plant and turn on the generators. Roger that. Alright. Can I search any of these drawers? I don't think so. I think we're done searching in here. I can't look at any of these. So let's get out of here. We got places to go and generators to fix. Save your game at any time by pressing F5. You load it F9. All right, I'm just gonna go straight for the power generators. Um, yeah. Starting to get a little hazy. That's okay. Power generators that way. If we get close to, uh, I am sprinting. <laughs> I will lose the energy to sprint if I get too cold. Um, if I do, uh, see I'm starting to get hazy because of hypothermia. If I do get too hazy, um, I'll end up going into a black and white uh, last ditch effort sort of mode. Okay, so let's let's uh, throw this down on the ground. Try to warm up here real quick. Ah, much better. Okay. Let's pick up the kerosene, pick up the duct tape. Oh, yeah, is it a canvas or something? There it is. Okay, canvas. Yeah, where's my canvas? Pick that up. Let's okay, search okay. this box here. Nothing for us there. Canvas. Uh, another canvas. Got any rifle okay. rifle rounds down there, people? That's like the long dark. It's hard. Die. Old habits just die hard. Okay. Still really, really cold out there. Let's pick that up and let's keep moving. Now, see, we couldn't set down a heater in here and warm up because we have this window, but we could technically do a little repair. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We could do a window patch, which is two canvas and one duct tape. But, you know what, I'm going to wait on that for a minute here. Um, let's see here. Search the desk. Grab grab more items. Okay. More duct tape. You can never have too much duct tape, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Alright, let's get on out of here. This is a sealed room, so we can use this one to warm up, which we will do. I love the little lighting effects from the uh, kerosene heater. It's pretty nice. There's a wrench. Hey, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Okay, okay. 
and I like it. You just search all the <laughs> instantaneously search them all. All right, let's grab this space here here again and uh, put that away. Let's jump out here, see what we can find. Got ourselves some solder, some clamps, nice. A little workshop over here. Oh, that looks like something needs repair. Repair frayed wires. So, contact McMurdo for assistance with the generator. Okay, so I gotta go back to the comm station. No! There's a teletype here. Don't worry. They got teletypes all over the, the place here. What we got here? Anything in the tool chest? Ah, yeah, negative. Negative Ghost Rider. Alright. What else we got? Anything? Oh, see some canvas. Another battery. Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. Alright, looking pretty good. Um. Oh wait, there's a note here. What's it say? Dinner's been acting up recently. Fuel pump finally gave out. I was going to fix it. The station should be a decommissioned engine anyway. Why lug another pump out of fuel depot when this thing's getting shut down in a few weeks? We can live on two generators for now anyway. Yeah. Alright, let's reload this battery here real quick. Okay. This is a green generator. Starting to get a little cold, so pick up some more wires. Alright, I'm gonna go warm up here real quick before I go any further. Oh, let's not go outside. Yeah. Let's actually go back around here. Workshop area. And then we'll go back this way. And we'll go back in this room. And we will warm up here. And we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs. Wait, what's this up here? Something up here. No, it's just a trapper keeper. Wow, Trapper Keeper, haven't heard that word in a long time. Let's refill this. I think it's because I saw it in Stranger Things, which is an awesome, awesome uh, Netflix series. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Exterior Stereo Access. Definitely, definitely check it out. It's sort of like E.T. meets um, Goonies. That's really good. Okay, watch out for this. Whoa! Yep, it always it always falls right when I'm there. I can't figure that out. All right. Come on. I would say it's scripted, but and then I mean, keep an eye out for these these things with the little globes on them because these are like little schematics and missions and things like that and little tips, survival tips. So there we go. We learn how to make a uh, wiring bypass. What a coincidence! Because that's exactly what I need. Okay. Can I search this? Can I search this? Nope. Not gonna let me search that desk right here. Come on. Okay, nothing there. All right, let's let's uh go over here and make ourselves a little wiring bypass kit. <laughs> I might have to make myself a window patch just to patch this up here. Got plenty. I'll do it. What the heck? All right, just repair the window. Be done with it. Here we go. All right, we'll just warm up there while that while that's going on. Use the power box. Turn it off. Now we're gonna leave that on. And God, I wonder if I can take that down. Oh, I should be able to take that down. That'd be so nice. All right, let's just head on. Hey, you know what? Let's let's go back the way we came. All right. No need to run down there. I don't think. Hmm. Don't see the need. All right, let's find that pesky little generator. Just give us fits. Where's it at? It's around here somewhere. I don't think it's this way. Wait, am I in the wrong spot? No, I basically yeah, I circled around. Okay, sorry. I just completely circled around. I'm in the downstairs part. Let's go this way. I think. Is this where I want to be. Sort of. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there's a workshop. Okay, here we go. And can we repair it? Yes, I did make my wiring repair kit. Alright, so we got power now. Let's run upstairs and activate it. Ooh, it's really dirty. I do, I do need that flashlight, I guess. And I don't need it once I'm outside, though. I do need it when I'm inside, though. Pretty, pretty dark. 
So one of the reviews was re complaining about how much you had to jump in this. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's not that hard to jump. And it's always bad when you have to jump in first person. I'm like, really? Come on, man. And you're a professional game reviewer? Where do I sign up, bro? All right. So we'll just go ahead and just uh, fall off of here. Head back in here. It's nice and toasty. And pick up some canvas while we're here. Anything else? Got anything else laying around for me? Maybe something in the lockers, perhaps. A couple clamps. Clamp, clamp. And that's about it. Okay, so we're going to go back and talk to... I guess we do have to go back to comms, actually. So we're going to run back to comms, talk to uh, McDur McDermott or whatever his name is. McDuro. Mc McMurdo. Couldn't pick a easy name like Carl. You know, it had to be McMurdo or something. Something completely made up. Alright, so now we're heading, I think we're pointing straight north. Yeah, we need to basically do a about face and head back down the hill here a little bit. And jump! And jump! There's our comm center. No wolves? This is easy. What are you talking about? This is so, so easy. Wake me when Fluffy shows up, right guys? Alright, so let's go ahead and chit chat here. Some power restored. Restored partial power. One generator still offline. When do I get out of here? I'm going to be blunt. Immediate SNR outlook poor. Not likely until sunrise. Oh man, I'm good. Until sunrise? That's easy. Sunrise, that's like weeks. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Forgot where we were at. Yeah, that is weeks from now. You nuts. <laughs> I'm. I know what you're trying, Jack, but sun up, long wait. Wanted off the ice months ago. McMurdo, understood, just overwinter. You know, skeleton crew, most suffering T3 syndrome, slow cognition, fug fugue state, uh, temporary amnesia can get you through, can get you through this. We'll stay in close contact. contact. Won't be alone, but I am alone. I'm just talking to you through a teletype. Sutro, I am alone though, Jack. I appreciate your help. I do, but this place is not conducive to um existing. Ideas on the next step. Steps. Still cold here. Really? It's still cold in Antarctica? Who'd have thunk it? Well, weather conditions deteriorating. Condition two front approaching your location. That doesn't sound good. You're going to have to hunker down and until plan devised. Check the hab to see what food is available, water facility for water reserves. Understood. I swear to God, Jack, if you start talking about making me an oxygen filter out of junk I have laying around here and then slingshot at me around the mood, I'm going to smack you. We'll investigate supply situation and report back. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a stash of pudding pops. The swirly kind. That's right. That's right. Orange sickles. All right. So, cream sickles. That's right. Um, we, got here. we only got these that we can craft right now. We would have a bunch of unknowns. So here's where I screwed up last time. I went straight for the water processing facility because, silly me, I thought, hmm, water, that's a priority in survival. You need to go for this one first. And then, when you go down here and you get that all taken care of, you don't go back here and handle everything. You go from here and they expect you not to go from here around here to the water facility. They expect you to go from here across this bridge to the water facility here. You have to go through this bridge. Otherwise, you don't get into a situation where you find out about something else you need in order to get to the water facility. Otherwise, you go to the water facility, you can't get in. And you keep dying over and over and over and over again. So, a little bit, it's like it's linear, but it doesn't actually, it, it, it acts like it's open world with multiple options, but really it's linear. And somehow you're supposed to divine that. So it's a little weird. Um, didn't like that at all. At, at all. And uh, basically cost me a good hour and a half of uh, me uh, wasting commentary trying to do this game. Because I was like, you know what, I'm not going to, you know, that, that was BS. I'm not going to uh, drag everybody down with me. So I'm just going to start fresh here. So what the have is over here. I'm pretty sure I need to go this, this well, maybe. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I think I need to go this way. This should be south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southeast. Let's go this way.
Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Now I'm getting all disoriented. Okay, I'm at the south end of the comm station now. Let's get back in here and get warmed up real quick. Okay, I'm at this. I'm right here. I basically just need to go straight southeast. Yep, now that I'm warmed up. Okay. Uh, so I need to go that way. I think I go up and around here, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. Hold on. Eh, flashlight really doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Is it this way? I think maybe it is. Yeah, I think it is. I just didn't go far enough. Wait, that doesn't look safe. It won't even let me go that, that way. It's like, nope, there's an invisible wall there. It's not safe for you to go that way. Don't do it, man. Oh, I'm back at the plane. Okay, that's too far. Let me try to figure out how to get, get over there again. Let me get back in here, warm up again. Luckily, it's not costing me anything. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm at the comms. I was thinking I was at the power station. Never mind. Jeez. Helps if you know where you're at. All right, let's try this again. My bad, my bad. All right. Jump, jumpy, jump, 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 jump. And then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna do a little button hook around the corner here. We're gonna be right where we need to be. So we're just gonna go this way and then kind of hook around this way. And this should be the hab. I'm pretty sure this is. We'll know if we see like Christmas lights up in the window there. It's like multicolored. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is it. This be it. The hab. All right, so we're here. Ooh, get dark. I was like, ooh, I'm fading into the long dark, but then I'm like, wait a minute. All right, let's warm up real quick. When you encounter an area building without power, search for a power box that needs to be repaired. Once repaired, the power box will provide power and heat to that area. All right, or something like that. So let's head on down here. Little electrical area here. Has a battery assembly, a battery. So we're wiring. Come on. Empty. Let's reload this battery here. How are we doing on batteries anyway? Got three batteries. We're in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. That was some rope. Uh, oh man. It's like that's my bed. Prepared fried wires. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. Let's go ahead and make a bypass kit. Do we have enough for? We're going to need to find some more wiring, though. If we want to make another one. But let's get this one going here. Okay. Let there be light. <sighs> Sounds like she's feeling better now. Hey, there we go. Wiring. Nice. Asking ye shall receive. Alright, let's get on out of here and get back inside. Should have some light now. A little bit of power in some of these rooms. There we go. And I've searched these lockers. Not yet. We got more wiring. Alright. Boxes. Yep. Duct tape, duct tape. And some more duct tape. And there's a teletype and a light pole. I'll explain those here in a second. So the light poles, just a quick little check here, make sure I'm not missing anything. So the light poles, you can actually put them out there like beacons um, so that you can find your way back during really bad storms. I think we're good there. All right, let's get on, get on out of here. And what else we got, anything out here? Mm. Ooh, some sort of locker room. Never been in here, actually. Got it. Bulbs. All right. Got anything in here? Oh, showers. Anything? Can I take the towels? Use those for anything? No. Nope. Toilet water. No toilet water today. 
No toilet waters. Okay, what we got in here? A little storage room with a foot locker. Okay. Another bulb. Another battery. Empty. Oh yeah, we got lots of lots of foot lockers in here. More bulbs. Here we go. Survival manual. Survival guide outlining the proper here. I'm gonna actually turn off my light so I can read this. Uh, where was that? Oh yeah, let's do it here. Oh, yeah, don't waste any heat. You know what I mean? Here's another thing I don't like. It puts the most recent things down at the bottom. So I don't like that at all. And where did that one go? Hmm, that's weird. Basically what that was, it, it taught you how to uh, seal up your pants using duct tape around the, the seams of your pants. So now we can do this. We can slow our body heat loss by taking some canvas, some duct tape, and basically sealing off the gaps in our pants. All right, there we go. Let's search this desk, see what else we can find. Nothing. Clamp. Okay. Battery assembly. Come on. Battery. Anything else? Did I miss any of them? I don't think that I did. Sneaky beans, anyone? Okay. So that's. Let's head. Alright. Let's get back in here real quick. I think this is a. I think this is sealed. Nope, it's not sealed. Okay, I'm looking for a sealed room, basically. And we're about to find one. So, here we go. Yay! Ah, just hang out here. Wait for rescue, man. What else? You know? Get myself drunk. Be alright. Wait two weeks. Come get me. They got plenty of songs on this thing. Look, I can even turn it off if I want to go to sleep. I guess I can always unplug it. And check this out. We got TV. We just need to figure out an antenna. Like we need to make some massive rabbit ears. All right. Anything down here? Nope. We got checkers. What else we got here? We got Chinese checkers. Yeah. We got plenty of reading material. Yeah. No need to leave this place. I don't know what I'm. Why I'd ever leave? But here we go. Leaving again. Yes, you can't go up that ladder, and it just basically brings you up to the roof where you can jump in here, rather than just walk around. So, there's nothing else up there. There's like a generator, a diesel generator on the top, but it wouldn't let me interact with it, at this point at least, so. It is what it is. What is that? Is that just a door? That's just a door. Alright. Open some cabinets. Here we go. Okay. Some wiring. What else we got? Anything else? Yeah. Maybe we'll get some food here. Yeah, empty. Okay. Wiring. Find lots, lots of wiring. Canvas, nice. All good things to have. All good things to have. Duct tape, yeah. But we're missing a key component here. We're missing food. Anything? Can I check this? Yep, can check that. Uh, I don't know if this is a storage room or not, but it looks pretty. The kerosene is a sample. Sample? Okay. I don't know. And we got a couple more light poles here. Kitchen pantry, here we go. Right? Nope. <gasps> Missing food. They all ran off with it. Alright, let's get on back to the uh, to the bar area here. Oh sh fine, I'll go up there and show you guys. See, nothing going on. There's like this generator up here that can't do anything with at this point, so. Alright, let's just head on down here. Ah, I jumped, just missed. Just trying to jump on the other side of the jagged wreckage there. Alright, let's head on back through here. Warm up. And we'll play some pool while we wait. Oh, nine ball. Side pocket. Hold on. Bam! Eight ball. Ooh. Oh, playing some defense, are we? Eight ball corner. 
Damn. I lost, though. I'm not supposed to do it that early. Okay. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's go tell McTurd what's going on here. Hey, you. Check McTurd. Food be gone. Pantry cleaned out. Very distressing. Need energy, Jack. You know how many calories it takes just to breathe down here. Food stash somewhere else? Not likely. Protocol, you know. It's called the screw you protocol. Situation difficult. For sure. Well, not impossible. I swear. We're working on solutions. Next best step is cannibalism. No. Is to check on water supply and head to the water building and report back and pretend that water is actually food. I'm heading to engineering back in 10. All right. Thanks, Jack. Thanks for nothing, Jack. All right, um, let's go ahead and warm up real quick. That's probably a good idea. I think we're okay warming him up in here, actually. Oh, no, that's right. There's that window. Keep forgetting about that window. Let's get in here and warm up, since we did lose a little bit of time talking to him on the teletype. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. We're here in the hab. What we're going to do next is we are going to try to cross this bridge to get over to the water building. So, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in episode number two of Near Death. music so much better than my outro music.